Hello there and welcome to the channel and uh, this video is about Alvert the keyboard launcher. So Alvert basically allows you to do things really really fast. It makes you productive and saves a lot of time. So I'm just going to show you what Alvert can do. So I have a shortcut key for Alvert. So it will so when I press the shortcut key it will pop up the search bar for Alvert. So here is the Alvert basically and it can do so many things for you. For example it can launch applications for you. So if I want to open Chromium, I can just type Chromium, it will show me some results. I can hit the enter and the Chromium will start. Not just opening any application, you can also do the calculation with it. For example, if you don't know what is 99 plus 104, it will tell you right away. So it's like the Google which can do multiple things, right? Not just the calculations, it can also control your playback. So for example, you are listening to any music. So I'm going to start the music player on my system. So let me just type rhythm box. So this is the, so here is the rhythm box. So I'm just going to play a song, for example, this an evening in Paris. So it's an Bollywood, classic Bollywood movie. So the song is playing right now, so I can control the playback. So I will start the Albert and I will type stop and it will stop the music. I can also say play it will play the music i can also pause it for example if i want to pause the music i can pause it i can also change the song i can type next and it will change the song for me it also has some system commands for example shut down your system right away just type shut down it will shut down the system you can also use like reboot and similar commands right you can also execute commands direct from here to the terminal so you can use this sign and just type the command for example if i want to update my system i can type sudo apt update and hit enter it will start the terminal and uh, as i used sudo so it is asking me for the password so i will type the password and it will update the repository it can also do other things for example i'm just going to show you what it can do so here is the settings window so i'm going to the extensions here these all are the extensions that you can use for example here it is for web search so you can also search for any website for example if you want to go to linux.org you can type linux dot org hit enter and it will open the url in the default browser you can also search for bookmarks if you have for example i have enabled this extension here chrome bookmarks so it can search all the bookmarks available in chrome or chromium in this case so i can search for like i have a bookmark for taj mahal so i can search, just type taj and it will show me the bookmark for that so here is the bookmark and I can directly browse this link from here. I can also search for any file. So I have enabled for audio documents and folders. So it will search only these types of files in the system. So I can type for example, I want to search for a song that is delicate and uh, it will show me where it is. I can simply click on it. It will start the song from here. I can also generate hashes for anything. For example, if I want to know what is hash for Linux, so I can type hash and uh, Linux and it will show me the all available different hashes for it. It also has option for external extension. So if you know how to code, then you can program your own extensions as well. It also has this Python option here. So if you enable it, it will show you these all results. So these all are the extensions that you can use. For example, I have enabled the Wikipedia extension. So using this, I can simply type wiki and search for any keyword and it will search on the wikipedia so for for example if i want to know about the kernel it will search kernel on the wikipedia and it will show you all the different available results right i can also search for linux here it will show me all the wikipedia pages related to linux i can use the mouse wheel to go through the different options available so these are the extensions that you get with the application. It also has the general settings. For example, you can change its theme. So let me just open the Albert here and I can simply use my scroll bar to change the theme. So you can see here the different themes available. So it comes with so many default themes. So if you like this one, you can choose this and it will set the theme and you can also choose the amount of result it can show. I have set it to the five. You can also choose the terminal that you want to use for executing the different commands and you can also change your shortcut key, the hotkey. So in my case, I have set control plus space. You can simply click on it and change to whatever shortcut you want. So this is the Albert. 
and uh, you can install it easily the guide given in the description just uh, go to the blog the linux has to your blog and there you will find an easy guide to install albert on any linux distribution so that is in this video i hope you enjoyed it and uh, i hope you like the albert let me know in the comment section below also and i'll catch you in the next one till then take care and keep enjoying linux